y'all. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. I'm getting ready to bring you a general energy update for Capricorn. So if your sun, moon, rising isn't Capricorn, welcome to my channel. If you're a Capricorn lover, how you doing? All right, y'all, flip the roles as you see fit. You know who plays what in your story. I don't. I'm just the messenger. I'm reading energy. And um, yeah, make sure you're in a positive mindset. Why? Because we're all on different timelines, okay? So some of the stuff may not resonate with you, but you know what? Take what you need and leave what you don't need because there's always a message for you somewhere somehow okay my spirit guys is always dropping jewels honey all right so um i'm gonna set my intention so we can be on the same page energetically here thank you holy spirit thank you my angelic guides for helping me with this collective reading for capricorn i ask that you protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you and close the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will or the purpose of these readings thank you for protecting me from any psychic attacks or negative energies being projected towards me thank you for using me as the messenger and speaking through me loud and clearly and so it is all right y'all so capricorn if you're feeling my vibe make sure you like subscribe and share thank you all right so what's the general energy update for capricorn my spirit guys what is it that they need to know adjacent possibility card is in the reverse position thank you what else is happening here elaborate oh i'm gonna tell you about 10 cards just popped up out of here y'all okay so let me get this all in order here. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so this is what I got. I have the adjacent possibility card in a reverse position. Okay, so what, what you're doing here, right, is you're considering other options. Mm, what are you considering other options about? Okay, so it may be in regards to creating some type of family structure or some type of relationship or love. Okay, um, and the only reason why I say that is because I have the number 24 on that card. And when I break down that, it equals six. Six usually represents, you know, family, things like that, right? Now, um, before you didn't really see any other options, right? Because it could have been like a force of habit that was keeping you stuck. But now, okay, you are, um, you're definitely seeing here that there may be some unknown opportunities um, that are here, okay? And if you're not seeing that, it's a possibility that you need to see that you do have other options, all right? That there are other ways that you can do this and don't be too married to one agenda, okay? Because it can be because of old unhealthy patterns or any habits as well, right? But you do have a power. Um, um, it's like this life force energy that's moving through you deeply, right? So Spirit is telling you here to recognize, you know, that there are many unconsidered options here that are available to you and that are on your way um and it's going to move you into like a healthier direction here um so now this is really the time to decide are you going to let any worry or self-doubt define you okay or are you going to step into this ever-present adjacent possibility of optimism and trust and self-love right so no matter how stuck you may feel in your situation you always have options and of thousands of choices that you can make every single day so remember that okay now the next card that i have here is my first chakra stability and security card right it's in a reverse okay so when this card shows up in a reverse you may be facing some type of significant challenge here or you may feel a difficult emotion or you could have been feeling this right so remember this could be past present or future energies but for the most part here right um you may be blocked there Okay, so it could be some type of fear there about your safety, about your security. Um, or it may even be like a little sense of depression that could have been there, but it's just block energy, okay? So it may be some type of worry there. Um, but again, it's like you know, start to speak your affirmations here, maybe wear crystals, um, do some acupuncture, get into nature, do something to get that energy flowing freely again regarding whatever issues you may be having. Okay, so just remember to say to yourself, my first chakra is open to its perfect healthy state. I am strong. I am stable. I am safe and I am secure. Okay, now the anxiety card is in the reverse. So you definitely have been releasing whatever the fear is or anxiety that you're having in regards to the situation. Um, if there's some type of worry, you know, or distress, yeah, you finally got some relief, right? You you got some relief or you need to get some relief if you haven't gotten there yet, okay? Now, um, hmm. So, 
whatever is happening here, whether it's recent or now, right? Just know that it's it's on its way out or it's out. Okay, so you're going to start to be able to feel more relaxed, but you're going to have to tap into your intuition for the most part, right? It's, you're going to really have to go within spirit is saying um, with the situation so that you can really get a clear understanding of what your personal direction is for yourself. Okay, now because you could, this is the moon card in reverse and this is the thinking woman in the reverse. So you're having a difficult time here with your own personal growth, or you may just feel confused about your purpose here, or you you may feel disconnected, just to say that, from your true path, right? Um, and when I say that, it's because it has something to do with a masculine energy. So the door to personal healing and happiness is in the reverse position with this. Okay, so you definitely are... Um, mm, when that's in the reverse, right? This is about your new beginnings. So you may... I mean, in the upright, it's about your new beginnings. When it's in the reverse, you may feel like that door is blocked. Or there may be some type of delays when it comes to whoever this masculine energy is that you value. All right. They definitely is someone here that you see as valuable. Or they may even be financially abundant here. But um, you feel stuck. Okay. You feel stuck with that. Now, the happy family is in a reverse position here. That speaks of whatever the conflict is, whatever the delay is that you may be having with that situation. Okay. So, but remember that your intentions need to be clear and unconflicted. Okay. So whatever it is that you're working on, you need to know, all right, know that you are capable of achieving whatever it is. And if you're trying to get this, a happy family, you can achieve that, whether it's with this person or if it's, if it's with someone new, right? So um, you deserve it, okay? So put your hearts into the plans and change your desire, right? And realize that you are worth your own time and your own effort. The new beginnings you seek will come with your own focus and patience and determination, all right? So we're going to pull tarot. We're going to go see what all of this is about here, okay, Capricorn? All right, so... One moment. I may have to pause real quick because my son is coming out the bathroom. And sometimes he doesn't be as silent as I feel like he should be. All right. But let's see. Thank you, my spirit guys. What is this about? Can you tell me about the spread? Show me what Capricorn needs to hear. Show me what I need to see. Thank you. In regards to this spread. Okay. So two of swords in an upright position. Someone's have, having a difficult time making a decision, all right? So you're weighing your options here. You're stuck on making this decision here. Um, you're looking to see what the best outcome would be, but it's hard for you to make a choice here with this, okay? So let's see what this it's about. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So it's about following a certain process. Maybe you're trying to make a decision here about you know, wanting to really truly commit, right? You want to be in something committed here um, or you're making a decision about a commitment or a marriage or following a certain process here and you're trying to use your intuition when it comes to this, right, with the high priestess. I'm um, spirit is saying you got to trust that, okay? Um, listen to your inner voice here and remain patient for the most part here because you do have this ability here to see what's hidden and it's going to surface, all right? So trust that you it will come out as a high priestess here, like I said. Um, the high priestess sits back, relax, trust that intuition and wait, okay? So be patient, thank you. What's done in the dark always comes to the light, honey. I don't know where that come from. It has something to do with you maybe being in a third-party situation. You may feel like you're blocked here because of that. You're blocked in your happiness here because of whatever this third-party situation is about. Um, whether it's friendship, whether it's something in the community, whether it's other lovers involved here. Uh, you've been doing a lot of praying. Okay, it's a queen of cups in an upright position. You're very compassionate and you're very kind with this person here that you connected to. But um, you've been really trying to t tap into your intuition with this. Okay, now look, the devil is here uh, and the two of pentacles. So with some called appendices going on, some type of oppression or some type of... Um, Hmm, addiction it could be, okay? Or you just may not feel fulfilled within the situation here because there's an imbalance, right? Someone is being messy for the most part or they're neglecting um, you or you may be neglecting someone else, all right? Someone's juggling, maybe juggling people, resources, money, 
um, work, it, whatever it is, right? Someone's juggling here and they're not doing a good job at it. But the Ace of Cups is in the reverse. So this may be leading you to be very cold about this. You know, it's like, yeah, I, the love is lost, honey. You know, because you're juggling me here and it's pulling me into a low dark place with that double energy. The Page of Pentacles here basically is saying, you know, you're making some type of plans for the future and you're ambitious about that. You want to get to your daughter personal healing and happiness, right? And in order to be able to get there, you have to let go. You can't hold on too tightly to whatever it is here that um, it is. You got to let it go. You may be trying to avoid something or you may be trying to delay something from happening. But Spirit is saying you got to let go of it. You can't hold on too tightly. When you do that, you tell the universe here that you're not accepting or you don't want any new opportunities or beginnings or new things to come in for you. Okay. Now, you want to be able to have a situation here that's balanced where is an equal give and take, right? Where someone is giving you something and you're giving someone something and you're receiving. You know how that is? That giving receiving ratio has to be there. Um, and it looks like that you may have been given into something or a person or a connection here and you haven't been being reciprocated what it is that you've been given. All right. So I know that was a lot. So tongue twister going on, right? Page of wands in the upright position. So you pretty much can see the bigger picture here. So you know exactly what it is that you want for yourself. And you see all the possibilities on top of that. But, you know, someone is failing to be committal. Okay, now Queen of Swords in the reverse position. This could be energy or this could be some a person. But however, um, there is some trauma that's associated with this or maybe some type of manipulation that could be going on. Someone could be being overly emotional, right? Or even cold hearted. Or this could be um, a feminine energy coming in who is overly emotional or bitchy or cold hearted. You know, I am seeing here that this is a third party situation, but something needs to end. And for the most part, someone's clinging to the past, fearing change, right? This is about cycles of transformation. And in order for you to get to your new beginning, you have to end those. Um, you got to end it. That's it. You got to allow these changes to take place. You can't avoid it. You can't delay it. You have to allow this to happen is what Spirit is saying here so that you can get to your new beginning. This is about your transformation here. Okay. And in order to get to this transition, your own personal transition, you have to face whatever it is here that you don't want to let go of just yet. Right. Because you're holding on too tightly to this. You got to transition and move beyond this is what I'm hearing. It has a lot to do with Ten of Cups. It could be a family structure here. And then I have the hangman that's um here in the reverse. So this is good in the reverse, right? Because there's a lot of stalling. But you know how you're still gaining these new perspectives. And you want to be able to get to happiness. You want to be fulfilled. You want emotional stability, right? Um, and But the thing is, it's here. It's like you're not moving on. And that's what has to happen. You can't resist the change and you can't carry the baggage to come Sorry, along. So, overall, Spirit, what, what is some advice that you have for Capricorn as well? Outcomes and anything else that they need to hear. Thank you. The lovers. <laughs> so, this is... Uh, card is usually about union. It's about partnership. It's about, you know, maybe you may be married to this person um, or this is just somebody you have a very strong bond with. Um, it represents all of that, right? This card usually represents my twin flame card too as well. Now, um, mm, I'm sorry, y'all. My phone started ringing. I was trying to end it. <laughs> now, um, thank you. Tell me about this lover card here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of disharmony between you two, Ten of Pentacles and the reverse. All right, so you are having some type of dispute um, with this. They Something's happening here, right? Where someone could be really breaking that tradition of that family structure or um, having a relationship. You know, something is not, something is happening. Um, I'm definitely getting here that there's outside um, people involved, right? Okay, so... The nine of cups is in a reverse position and um, you're unhappy about this. You're very disappointed because of the fact that this connection that you have with this person seems to lack um, 
it seems to lack that quality, right? It seems like it's superficial for the most part. Now, Nine of Pentacles, you're self-sufficient. Okay, Capricorn, this is definitely Earth side, Earth all the way. Usually, um, the Nine of Pentacles would be Virgo, but it's still Earth to me, right? But you are definitely self-sufficient. You're independent. You're confident here. And you've reached a stage of your life where you're balanced, okay? So continue to enjoy and embrace who you are. But, you know, for the most part, you don't want to be, you don't want any secrets or you don't want to be kept a secret. You know, whatever this is that's happening here. You definitely are like, I don't want to be in the dark or I don't want to, you know, not know what's happening or I don't want to be the person that's a secret. I don't know if you are the third party person here. Um, that could be the case. It doesn't have to be. OK, but let's see. Tell me about this card. Thank you. So just really just gain some strength is what spirit is saying, because it's too much tension um, and it's a lot of arguments. So you need to really be resilient. OK, during these times of distress here and have the confidence here to be able to really move forward. Right. Because um, with the five of swords, there's definitely something going on here that's causing some tension. And um, you got to be assertive. You have to be very direct. OK, no matter what the challenges are. Be assertive and be direct because this person is coming in as a king of swords in the reverse. So they're definitely very selfish and they don't really have high standards when it comes to uh, um, relationships and things like that. It's like they don't really expect much. OK, um, but for the most part here, they could be manipulative, too. So you're going to have to assert yourself with this. Um, don't be impatient about it, but jump, bam, jump right in and be direct. Five of Pentacles in the reverse, because what you want is to have some positive changes into come into your life. You want to be able to recover from whatever these losses are here, which you will for the most part. OK, you will overcome all of this here, but you're going to have to search yourself and you will have to go through this door to your own personal healing and happiness because this is about your own transition here. All right. So. I'm going to give you guys uh, a card to close out. I feel like I want to talk to my angels and ancestors here. Thank you. What is it that you want? Capricorn to know in regards to all of this. Thank you. The moon card. Take note of intuitive messages. So you're getting downloads here and they're answers to your prayers. So listen to your dreams. Um, any synchronicities and things like that. You're going to have to take charge with authority. That's Again, you're going to have to assert yourself. All right, with this and choose your path. This is about your direction here. Um, so when choosing your path here, right, be confident is what I'm getting about it. Thank you. Yep, you got to trust because you will thrive. All right, you will thrive through all of this. Let me pull out my angel and ancestor book real quick. I want to read the Direction Guardian. It's not the book. Hold on a second. Hold on one second, y'all. I know I got it. Um, thank you. Sometimes I just gotta get my focus good because there's too much going on. Hold on one second. Step book out. Okay. Okay, it's not there. All of the books were stacked, but unfortunately, I don't see it. It's not standing out exactly for me just yet. I, my eyes is not functioning on it. And it's so crazy because once I actually go out of here, here it go. I was about to say, once I go out of this, it's going to be right there sitting in my face. Okay, so with the Direction Guardian. It says, connect with your deepest desire, then choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing. So your path isn't set in stone and your angels and your gods have no expectations for you, nor should you have any for yourself. There are many directions you can take. None of them are wrong as they all hold perfect opportunities to grow and to learn. But life is to be enjoyed and savored. So if you know that there's a decision to be made, and particularly if you are feeling indecisive, choose the path you know is going to make you light up and choose it with your heart and that said that pretty much throughout the reading and the very first card that you guys got 
was the adjacent possibility card. Okay, so yes, you have other options here, sweetheart. Okay, be open to those options is what Spirit is saying here. All right, because you will be successful at whatever endeavor you're trying to do. Um, even if it is creating that happy family for yourself, make sure that you assert yourself and be very direct with this person and be clear on what it is that you want. Thank you. Don't hide behind a mask, pretty much. And that means basically, you know, you may not be showing your true feelings here about this. The butterfly. Okay, because you want to be able to um, evolve for the most part, right? You want to be able to go to the next phase in your life. So um, you will do that. Be the butterfly, honey, okay? But don't wear a mask. Show your true color. Speak your truth here um, and be honest about it. Thank you. Which basically means the same thing, y'all. But <laughs> it just came out that way. Thank you. Anything else? Anything else. And that is it, y'all. I think my spirit guides have said it all. Ascending. Okay, so you are transcending your obstacles. And I'm going to speak this as it is, okay? This is about you ascending in your life, okay? So learn what you need to learn here. Um, You will expand, you will grow, and you will reach this new phase the butterfly in ascending card says the same thing, literally, right? Next phase. This one says new phase, okay? But what you're going through is preparing you for the next step in your life, y'all, okay? So remember that you are constantly ascending. And when you let go and you move on from what doesn't serve you, then you you telling the universe here that, okay, I am open to receive, right? And now I'm going towards my higher purpose in life and I no more stagnation, no more being unhappy here. I'm ready to receive. Okay, so make sure you guys do that here. Here go the adjacent possibility card I was looking for. <laughs> okay, make sure that you realize here that you have many options. All right. And sometimes a force of habit is what keeps us stuck and it keeps us unaware of those healthier and happier options that we have or choices that we have at hand. So continue to take a wider look at things and be very conscious and be aware and be flexible and willing to take new action, y'all. OK. All right. So that is your daily energy update for today, Capricorn. I love you until I meet. Uh, until we meet again tomorrow i promise y'all i'm gonna try to jump on this if i don't do it every day y'all i'm gonna try try to get to you guys at least twice a week all right so i'm gonna put that on my calendar i'm gonna set up a itinerary for myself and a schedule y'all <laughs> to be able to do this okay all right so i love you guys peace <laughs>